Are you loving your liver? Or are you making it harder for your liver to love you back? We need to know because our liver is responsible for about 500 different things going on in our body. And some of the top, the most important things require participation from our liver. The liver is involved in detoxification. That's right, you have a detoxification system. It's not something that you go on like a vacation. Uh, and you all, it's also involved in digestion, as well as removing cholesterol from the blood to make sure that we're um, not having that cholesterol buildup, and the hormones that regulate how we process blood sugar. So that makes it super important. And sometimes we're not loving our liver. We might love our drinks a little bit more, our alcoholic beverages, or we might be in pain. We might be experiencing chronic pain and on medication, or we may be dealing with intermittent pain and trying to get through it with you know, the over-the-counter pain agents. Um, and we also may be dealing with things like you know, loving the caffeine or maybe overdoing it on the sugar or maybe having more of the animal proteins. And these things can just make it harder for our liver to function better. So let's love your liver a little better with better liver nutrition. All right, so what are the top things that we can do? Well, the first one is to make sure that you're getting in some key nutrients. Now, these nutrients are found readily in foods, um, but if we're not getting them in often, we can turn to them in supplemental foods. So I'm gonna mention both. So the first group that I wanna focus on is I was talking about that detoxification system. And there are certain things that help our detoxification system work better. Uh, one of them is broccoli. And in particular, the long-lasting antioxidant, glucoraphanin, which is found in the, the curly parts, the florets of the broccoli. So I recommend getting that in. You can cook. You can, you can pretty much do anything to your broccoli. You can eat it raw. You can roast it. Uh, you could have a salad that has radishes, which actually helps the absorption, like daikon radish helps the absorption of that glucoraphanin. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't do would be to boil that broccoli. And if you're not getting broccoli in more often, you can look for supplements that have glucoraphanin in them. Now that's different than say broccoli sprouts or having broccoli in there because there isn't a consistent amount of glucoraphanin in nature in all of these different broccoli sprouts. So if you want a consistent amount, I would look for the true Brock logo from the glucoraphanin standpoint. All right, so what else do you want to get in? Well, I'm a big fan of mushrooms. And this is something that happened for me late in my 20s where I started taking supplemental mushrooms because I'd learned so much about their health benefits, including supporting their liver. And um, as somebody who, as a child, I was on a lot of antibiotics and uh, later on I had a bout with some skin stuff. So I was on some topicals and even an oral medication uh, and very quickly went off that because they were concerned about liver damage. And so I went on everything that could help with my liver. So this is a very personal story here. Anyway, Anyway, I discovered mushrooms, but then I hated eating them. So I was a really big fan of getting in reishi and shiitake, um, but in the supplemental form, which you can do, and they're great products. You can even drink a Rebel, which is a delicious grab-and-go elixir with the coconut milk in there, and they have protein ones. I love those. Um, but you can also add powdered reishi. I like Om Mushroom. I look for the organic in the mushrooms. And then there are a lot of brands that are doing supplemental mushrooms, and if they're better quality, they're on my Ashley Cough Approved list, which you can check out on the website. All right, what else can you do? Well, you can get in dandelion. That's right. Not, not You don't have to go get rid of all those dandelions in your yard. We actually make those into tea. Love Lovely dandelion tea. Now, I wouldn't use the ones necessarily that are in your yard. I would buy organic dandelion. Dandelion tea is going to be great for you. Artichoke, burdock root, especially if you're into Japanese cuisine, great for you on that part. Or you can look for supplements like my friends at Megafood and Gaia. Uh, they also have supplements that have milk thistle in there, which is silmarin. And that's another uh, ingredient that we want to get in. But you could also just decide to eat some arugula, some collards, and some other good sources of uh, silmarin. And finally, turmeric. And Turmeric um, is going to be really helpful for also helping to promote a, a healthy inflammatory response as well as nourishing our detoxification system. Okay, so what else do you need? Well, if we're, we're going to have the detoxification system working well, we need to make sure that we're also eliminating well. Remember I said the liver was involved in that. So that's where magnesium comes in. Remember, 70% of adults are not meeting their magnesium recommended daily amount. Um, and that is not okay because magnesium, forget about the liver for a second, magnesium Magnesium is in every cell in the body uh, there to turn off the stress response. So one of the reasons it's so important is when it turns off the stress response, it enables 
better digestion. So uh, if you have not done your magnesium assessment, if you're not part of the Better Nutrition membership, please head over to the website, join now, and do your magnesium evaluation. And then you can also use the magnesium menu to make sure you're getting that in more often. You can also take a good quality supplement like a Natural Vitality, Natural Calm, or I also have developed um, with Smarty Pants some of the mineral products. Um, the mineral products actually all have uh, the magnesium in them. Okay, so what else do we need to be thinking about? Well, greens, greens, greens. And the reason I want to focus on greens is that we want to get in good sources of folate. And folate is going to be great for the liver, but folic acid, which is what we fortify a lot of things with, like you'll see it on your breads and uh, pastas, and, and that's because uh, back in, I think it was the 1920s, 1930s, we made the decision to fortify because people were not getting in enough folic acid. Um, and what we didn't realize was that they weren't actually getting in enough folate, uh, but we thought it was okay to fortify with folic acid. And so they, they are working differently. And especially many of us genetically don't absorb uh, folate, folic acid as well, or even folate. So we need that methylfolate. So I would look for your supplements like Smarty Pants and mega food that are using methylated methylfolate on there. Um, and especially if you are, are taking a multi, I would also look on there to make sure that you're not getting too much vitamin A or too much iron. And if you need more help with your supplements, that's what I'm here for. Um, actually, that's what my Better Nutrition membership is here for. So head over to the Better Nutrition program and go ahead and join now where you can get me to do your supplement evaluation. Uh, and that's a great way to have me help you with your total nutrition. Remember, your, what goes in and on your body more often is what is going to dictate your health. So in the case of the liver, what goes in and on your body more often is going to be the supplements. It's also going to be those medications that we were talking about. It could be the alcohol, the caffeine, all of these other things, as well as the foods we were just talking about. And we all just want them to balance out in a way that is better for your liver. So if you feel like you learned something good here, please share it with someone uh, or just give me a thumbs up in the comment section. And if you wanna know when I'm posting more new videos, I'm always trying to provide free, better nutrition information here. And if you want to know when I am, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here because at the end of the day, my goal is to help you get the better health results that you want. And if you have better health, to help you keep it. And that's powered by better nutrition using the better nutrition tools. I don't want you guessing what your body needs to run better. I want to help you assess it and then get it in more often. All right, have a great one.